Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a very special dragon figure. His name is Arthur Hecht, and he's from the Eastern Front, 1944, and he's a Panzer Grenadier NCO. Now, if you're a dragon figure collector like myself, then you know that this one is very difficult to find anywhere. And he was on my top one list, uh, very high on my top one list for many years. So it feels good to finally have this figure in my collection. Uh, lately, I've been knocking off some of my top figures that I've wanted. Um, so really exciting times for me as a collector. And this one especially, I've been trying to track down for a long time. So uh, super awesome figure. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So there's a picture of him. And uh, as you can see, just a really unique looking figure. And you know, that's one of the things that I just really love about dragon figures. Um, they just took the time to make some figures that are just really unique and that other companies wouldn't really think of making. And this one, I think, just looks so unique. And um, yeah, so a really awesome box. And same picture there on the top. You can see him with his camo mask once again just super unique all right there's a look at the back and this one came out in 2005 all right and for anyone who's wondering i did pick this one up off ebay uh back in march and i paid uh i think it was like 120 for him so uh, pretty pricey, but uh, I think it's worth it. Uh, this one is super hard to come by. So he's one of those figures you just got to grab when you see him. As long as the price isn't ridiculously high. But uh, here he is. Alright, so a beautiful figure. It really stands out among some of the others. Uh, especially with this camo veil and then the sniper rifle which is really nice all right let me get him in another pose with his sniper it's a pretty flexible figure too he doesn't feel stiff at all so you can get some really cool poses here All right, well, let's take a look at his rifle up close. This is an SVT-40, and it is um, a sniper. And this is a Russian rifle, so I guess he must have captured it during battle. I'm not sure if the Germans uh, use this uh, as well, but I'm thinking it's captured, but uh, nicely detailed. I like the scope on that. And here is the magazine. And we got a nice strap on there. All right. So that's his rifle. And he does come with a Luger as well. And it looks like the clip came out. So that's pretty cool. You don't see the Luger a whole lot with figures. Uh, the clip slides out pretty easily, though. So you have to be careful not to lose that. All right. And what's really cool about the figure is that he does come with this camo mask, as well as this matching camo cap. And if you want, I guess you can try to put the mask over the helmet. And you can go for this look if you want. I think that looks pretty awesome, actually. Um, but on the box, they have him 
with the mask um, and also the cap but honestly um, I guess I'll show that later but it wasn't fitting too well um, but for now let's take a look at the helmet up close all right so the highlight here is this camo veil which is really cool All right, and let me take the padding off. You can see he's got a headscarf there. Let me pull that down so we can look at his head sculpt. All right, so great looking head sculpt, very detailed. I like the expression on this one a lot. Uh, but as I was saying, if you want to put the mask on, and then put the cap on, but honestly, I was having a hard time uh, fitting the cap on with the mask. It wasn't looking as good as with the helmet, I thought. Um, I guess you gotta fiddle with that some more to get it to stick, but uh, there's kind of the idea. Or you can just give him the cap. It's really up to you. Because this looks pretty awesome as well. All right, so you got some uh, different options there, which I always like to see. Um, so really awesome choices there for a helmet or the cap or with the mask as well. Next up, let's take a look at his equipment here. We've got a pouch there for his ammunition, for his sniper, and then the holster for his Luger. And then in the back, just your standard German equipment here. Okay, and he's got a map case. All right, and everything fit on pretty easily. I didn't have any problems, thankfully. Um, but I really love the camo smock that he comes with. Just love the pattern of it and the coloring. Looks really nice. And then it goes well with the pants as well. Looks like it's got the P-dot pattern. Okay, and there are his boots. And uh, before I forget, actually, he does come with, they give you another pair of boots, which I forgot to show. Over there, and you can see the actual uh, shoelaces. So good detailing on those, but I've kept those on for now because I really hate taking off the boots on these figures. I'm always scared I'm gonna break something. And um, anyway, there are some extra accessories here, like some more. Uh, magazines there for his rifle and pistol and then um, some medals and insignias that I just left in the box for now um, but yeah I think that is everything to show for the figure just making sure I didn't miss anything but I think that's it so um, this is a fantastic figure I think that goes without saying and uh, definitely a must-have if you are a really serious dragon collector. Like I said, I've been after this one for many years. And, um, you know, I, I finally just saw him and I decided to just buy him. And I'm really glad I did because this one is just super awesome. Um, love the sniper you get with him. And, of course, the helmet with the veil is a huge highlight there. As well as the camo mask. I think that's really awesome and just very unique. And, um, yeah, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this review. I got a lot of other dragon figures to review soon, so stay tuned for those reviews, and I'll see you next time, guys.